In part 17 of Project Invercar, sponsored by Haggerty Classic Car Insurance UK, we go really, really fast. And then she starts leaking oil all over the place. It's actually a beautiful day in paradise. Look at this. Uh, bank holiday Friday for the Easter weekend. Uh, just drained the oil out of Took, um, the thin oil. Funny enough, the oil pressure light was behaving today. A bit peculiar. But we've got some um, Comma 2050 mineral oil to go in, which will hopefully be more suitable. Ugh, dangly things. And um, will we'll help the engine feel a bit healthier. Um, I've paid for that. That was 12 99 for that bottle from Charlie's, uh, our local sort of DIY um, store. Um, not a bad price, and it's certainly cheaper than the 20 quid Halfords wanted for their 2050 oil. So we'll change the oil. Uh, we're going to investigate the oil leakage. Of def I mean, that, that looks like seepage from the filler neck, so maybe I'll get the filler neck off and have a good check of it, make sure there are no cracks or anything in it. And then um, hopefully we can do some more driving, because I haven't driven Took for ages on the road. Not since she had a little getting too hot moment. So, um, yeah, still a lot to do. Nothing's ever easy, is it? I want to remove this pan, because I, I, I have a feeling the pickup is above it. Uh, it's just a suspicion I have, but it'll certainly give better access to the sump to see whether the sludge is a problem. And um, there's one nut which was in a terrible state. It looked like it had been shaved on one side, and I can't get an 11mm on it, so I'm hammering a 10mm on in the hope that'll get it undone. Let's see if it works. Ah, that plate is the strainer. And um, I mean, there's all sorts of muck in here, but that might have come in transferred from me removing it. Um, it's hard to say, really, but certainly this needs clearing out and reattaching. Uh, there was a sort of a thick cardboard gasket on the edge I'm gonna to have to hope some instant gasket will do the job of sealing that again you can see the gasket there is quite badly torn so yeah the, the oil pickup fits in that hole and if we go under here there is the pickup so um, gives me a chance to have a look inside the engine once it finally starts dripping but I'll have to clean all the gasket away get all this cleaned up so I can reattach it once I've cleaned the thing out. Lots of oil down here from that leak I showed you earlier. Right, better crack on. Yeah, I don't know if you can see inside there, probably not because, oh there you go, very sludgy inside there. So I'm kind of blasting it out with penetrating oil at the moment, which makes it really, really cold. And um, yeah, I might try getting some gunk or something to try and break that up. Uh, see what I've got. Give it a clean. Hmm, mildly fried hair. That doesn't count as the cleverest thing um, I've ever done. Um, I was using the blowtorch to warm that up to try and melt out some of the cruddy bits. I accidentally managed to set file to my oil catch can, which is still smouldering gently. Thankfully, when that went up in a huge ball of flame, I had the foresight to just throw a rag over it, because if you starve a fire of oxygen, it goes out. So, um, yeah, quite glad I didn't panic. Quite glad I've still got some hair left. Oops. The important bit is even with the engine ticking over that slowly, the oil pressure light isn't coming on. So that's good. So it looks like fresh oil has done the trick there and cleaning the sludge out can't have done any harm. Well, just been for a little test drive and we've still got oil leaking. I think it is coming from the filler. Um, obviously the gasket I tried to make up hasn't been good enough. So um, better have another go at that. All seems well otherwise. And um, still coughing and spluttering every now and then, but actually running a bit better today. And um, maybe that fuel treatment is starting to have an effect. Uh, right. That's going to do more tinkering. Doing a bit more product testing while I'm on um, Project Invercar with these Grippers gloves. Um, they're um, meant to be the mechanic's friend. Look, approved by Mike Brewer. Um, but um, yeah, I, I was testing them at the NEC last weekend when they gave me a box to try 
And um, they're very good. I, I like the dexterity. You can easily pick nuts and little, even little washers up. So that's good. They do seem tough. Uh, I've just managed to destroy the test glove I got given last weekend um, with a piece of very sharp wire. But I had to really give it a good tug. And um, th this one's been in use all day on Project Invicar and is still okay. So, um, yeah, they seem quite useful. I shall continue to test them as we carry on. But now it's time to get the oil fill filler assembly off again. Right, we'll try again. Uh, I've actually fitted the breather from the um, spare engine. Well, from Tuck's original engine. So that was the one that was in Tuck originally. The one that I've taken off actually seems to have got twisted at some point. I'm not sure whether that happened on my watch. Ooh, condensing oil leaking out of that or not. But it was stopping the um, engine cover from shutting properly because it slots into that gap. But um, yeah, I've cleaned everything up down here so we can see if it still leaks. I'm going to leave that to set. Um, and then we'll try another test drive. Maybe I'll let you come along with me this time. Right, you are aboard. Let's um, oh, move the wheel chuck first of all. So I don't like to leave the handbrake on. You can't leave her in gear because she's very amatic. Oh, come on, door. Right. Oh, oh, I might have to shorten. Might have to adjust beard cam a bit. There we go. Um, let's try and start her up before we close the door. Choke on maximum. Give her a few pumps of that to prime the carburetor. Make sure she's in neutral. Very important. on my seatbelt, try not to take out beard cam as I do so, there we go, right, um, we shall go for a drive, I shall pause here until I get out on the open road. Metallic green Simcoe 1000 down on the farm to my left. That's unusual. go again. Not one cough and she's away.
we've lost power again. There we go, back home. Right, let's go and inspect the engine. Well, the good news is, um, it seems dry day. You can see where I've cleaned it up. I can just see a hint of oily residue, but I think we'll just monitor that and see how things go. Um, doesn't seem too bad. The carburetor is soaked in what appears to be petrol, which is slightly worrying. Hmm, maybe I should check that gasket. Uh, my good lady wife did make me a gasket, which is in there at the moment, but I've now got a genuine one, so I think that might be today's task, is to have a look at that. Well, maybe not today's task, we've got lots of things to do. Unfortunately, I guess we've also proved that the um, magic fuel potions don't seem to be working. She's not getting any better. She's still bogging down. She's still chug chug, and you open the front and there's nothing. And then sometimes she goes, tuk! and then she picks up again so that still suggests to me there's something in the carb which means i'm gonna to have to get the carb off again uh, which is a bit of a faff it means disconnecting the entire inlet manifold to get the um, carburetor assembly off but i suppose there are worse things to do in the world i think so sadly not a massive amount to report really um might have cured an oil leak Still got issues with carburetor, and I've got a leak on the brake master cylinder as well that I need to investigate rather urgently, I guess. Um, single line brakes, so if the brakes fail, um, I'm left with just the handbrake. Um, but at least it is quite a good handbrake. Uh, no engine braking, of course, due to the uh, variomatic transmission. So, um, yeah, I've, I've got a little trip away. Um, so, um, there might be a bit of a break before the next update on Project Invercar, but you know, time is running out. It's April now. Um, July, I'm meant to be driving 170 miles, and at the moment, she can barely manage 1.7 miles without coughing and spluttering. So, still work to do. So, stay tuned for further updates on Project Invercar. Little Tuck is back in the garage, squeezed in very tightly with Ellie the 2CV. Um, I've got an oil leak to sort out, and I'm going to pull the carburetor assembly off and have a proper look at it. Something some of you have been telling me to do for ages. But I've managed to have lots of fun driving around even with a poorly engine. So the thing is, can I actually make her run well? You'll have to find out in a future video. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I shall see you again in a future video. Farewell. Psh.